Good afternoon. I'm here today in Munich, Germany at the Internet and Manufacturing and I'm delighted to be joined by Niels from Volvo. Niels, really good to see you today. Thank you. Very glad to be here. Talk us through what Volvo are doing with IoT and what advantages you're seeing at the moment. Well, so fundamentally what we're doing is we, we bring a lot of yellow machines into the market. So big trucks, excavators, wheel loaders that are used in the construction industry. Uh, the construction industry is renowned for inefficiencies and um, what the IoT helps us and our customers achieve is greater productivity, uh, greater efficiency, higher safety uh, and, and, and better results in the end of the day. So the, uh, what we're doing very fundamentally is we're uh, connecting all of our equipment. Uh, on average we have about 400 sensors on the machine, um, GPS points, communication gateways, etc. and we basically funnel that data of course to a off-board solution where we build all kinds of services and uh, solutions around. And what kind of services and solutions are you building now on, on top of that data? Well so if you look at um, uh, our equipment is used in very rough environments so you can think of mining you can think of uh, big earth moving uh, equipment and what that does is it brings a lot of wear and tear on our machinery. Now the last thing our customers and we would like to see happening is unplanned downtime that means if you're in the midst of a construction job that your equipment is not working so one of the things that we're moving into is uh, predictive maintenance. That means that we are monitoring uh, on a real-time basis error codes, for example, in our machines. And then we send out the repair guys before the failure actually happens. And as we're now speaking, we're actually moving and making the first steps into prescriptive um, uh, maintenance. So uh, as an example. Yeah. And what challenges do you see uh, in, in doing so? Because I, I guess with IoT there are a number of challenges and you touched on some of them earlier today. You know, yeah. For example, like data ownership security. Now, I believe yeah. you previously spoken on IoT being a, uh, not a technical issue, but actually a cultural Correct. one. Correct. So fundamentally the, the uh, possibilities technically are very much there. Um, so the question is not so much in IoT what is possible, the question is what can we handle as organizations and as society. And um, So certainly it is um, um, the key element here is actually to start small and start learning and start piloting and start running projects. Um, and I do like this, this mantra of think big, act small. Uh, in reality for IoT that's, that's vital because it is fundamentally a transformation of culture in a company uh, and in, uh, in our markets. And so what's next for Volvo then? Obviously it sounds like you're, you, know, you are obviously efforts are going to, to improve what you already have. 12 months from now, where do you think you'll be as a company when it comes to IoT? Well, so if you look at where we stand today, we're spending quite uh, a lot of energy on uh, building our technology stack, our backbone, our platform. And what we'd like to move at in towards moving forward is have the right platform in place and then be able to spend more time and energy on uh, providing actual uh, services and solutions that we bring to market. So at this moment we're working hard on uh, developing quite a flexible modular uh, platform, working with a lot of partners on that. Um, and what we will then see is only an acceleration of the uh, services and solutions that we uh, bring to market. Niels, really appreciate your time today. Enjoy the rest of the show and I'm sure I'll see you around. No, most certainly. Many thanks. Cheers.